Welcome back, survivalists. So due to panic buying and supply chain shortages, you may have noticed that some items are virtually impossible to find in stores right now. But as they say, necessity is the mother of innovation, and you may need to get creative in the next few months. That's why in this video, I'm gonna teach you 10 pandemic survival hacks. So gloves are one of the items that are pretty hard to find in stores right now, but you very well may have everything that you need in your home right now to make a pair of DIY gloves. So what you need for this hack is a trash bag or even grocery bags, a pair of scissors, some cardboard, and an iron. So the first thing you wanna do is create some sort of template for your hand. I just use a cereal box for this, but very loosely trace around your hand, and you wanna make this a good bit larger than your actual hand, and then cut the hand shape out. And you should be left with something like this, and we're gonna use this as a template to make our gloves out of the plastic. Now place your cardboard template on the plastic and trace around it. But this time I want you to trace about a quarter to a half an inch outside of the edge of your template. And it's pretty important that you have the plastic bag cut out being larger than your actual template. And make sure you cut through both layers of plastic so that you're left with two sheets of plastic the same size. Now place your cardboard template back on the plastic so that you have the plastic sticking out about a quarter to a half an inch on all sides of your template. Now take your iron at medium heat and start pressing it against the exposed plastic. And this is going to melt the two sheets of plastic into one and create a seam. And do this all the way around to fully seal your gloves. And I think wearing gloves like this would be perfect for the next time you have to go out to the public and open doors or touch gas pumps or really interact with anything in public, this will be good enough to just protect your hand from any virus. Now, ideally, you're going to be limiting your exposure to public places like grocery stores as much as possible. But it can be difficult to buy essential items like milk that simply don't last that long in your refrigerator. But what most people don't know is that you can actually freeze your milk and when you thaw it out, it's as good as new. Now, milk will expand when you freeze it and it could burst the seams of the container and spill everywhere. So you want to make sure that you use or pour out at least one eighth of the container of milk before you freeze it. But using this little trick will allow you to go to the grocery store maybe every two weeks rather than every week. So hand sanitizer is another one of those items that's very difficult to find in stores right now but you very well may have everything that you need in your home right now to make some homemade sanitizer. Or at the very least, you may still be able to buy these items at the grocery store. All you're gonna need for this is some sort of rubbing alcohol or isopropylene alcohol, or I've even seen people use Everclear, which they buy at the liquor store, and a container of aloe vera. So in a bowl, you wanna combine three quarter cups of alcohol and one quarter cup of aloe vera. If you want to, you can even add some sort of scents or oils or even lemon juice to make it smell just a little bit more pleasant. Mix everything up and pour it into a container to take with you. And now you've got some homemade hand sanitizer. Wearing some sort of gloves in public places is a very effective method of staying healthy, but they only work if you know how to properly take them off. The proper way to remove a glove is to first pinch it down at the wrist and start pulling it inside out of itself like that. And then wad your old glove up in your gloved hands in the fist of it. And now with your clean hand, you wanna go underneath of your gloved hand and start pulling this inside out as well. And now you've got both gloves inside out and one with inside the other one. And what you wanna remember with this is skin on skin and glove on glove. So there's a lot of techniques out there for creating a homemade face mask, but I'm gonna show you one of the simplest ones that all it requires is a t-shirt and a pair of scissors. So all you need to do is cut out a vertical rectangle out of the back of the t-shirt about six to eight inches wide. You could also use sheets or pillowcases if you had to as well. If you needed to, I think you could probably get at least three of these strips out of the front and out of the back of the shirt. So now that you have your strip of cotton, all you need to do is just wrap it around on your face and simply tie it in an overhand knot on the back and you can pull it and cinch it tight just like that and as simple as this may seem i actually like this technique much better than a lot of the other homemade masks just because of how tight of a seal i can get around my face a lot of the other masks have gaps where air could seep in but because i can cinch this up it creates a very tight seal Mask made out of t-shirts are also some of the easiest ones to breathe through. So toilet paper, for whatever reason, is kind of hard to find in stores right now, but all you really need is some paper towels and a serrated bread knife. Simply cut your paper towel roll in half, and now it's almost the exact same size as a toilet paper roll. They even fit on your toilet paper dispenser. So eggs are another one of those essential items that really don't last very long in your refrigerator. 
but just like you can freeze milk, you can actually freeze your eggs as well. Now, if you just froze your eggs in their shells, most likely the shell is going to burst. But if you break two eggs into a Ziploc bag and then try to break the yolk and mix them up a little bit, you can lay them flat in your freezer and freeze them. When it's time to use them, just simply dethaw them a few hours earlier and they taste as good as new. Lysol wipes or alcohol wipes are another one of these items that you can't find anywhere. But again, all you need is some sort of rubbing alcohol or isopropylene alcohol or even Everclear and you can make your own alcohol wipes at home. All we need to do is take one of those half rolls of paper towels and place it in a container with a flat bottom. Now we're gonna add three cups of rubbing alcohol to the container. It helps if you flip the paper towels so that it absorbs the alcohol evenly and the center cardboard roll should come out without any problem. Now simply pull from the inside of the roll and you've got yourself some alcohol wipes. Now alcohol does evaporate pretty quickly, so make sure you keep this in some sort of airtight Tupperware container. Now if you don't want to cut up one of your t-shirts, you can make a pretty effective mask with just paper towels and two rubber bands. Lay your paper towel down and then start folding it over in about one inch wide horizontal strips. Now with the rubber band, what you want to do is actually wrap it all the way around the mask and then bring it through its own loop. And now just cinch it down pretty tight and you should be left with a big loop. If you do this on both sides, you should be left with two loops in the rubber bands that will go around your ears. Washing your hands for 20 seconds straight with soap and water is one of the most effective ways at actually killing this virus. But if you run out of soap in your home, don't panic. According to the Division of Pediatric Infection Disease at the University of Utah, anything with soap molecules will do the trick including dish soap and body wash. So even body wash from your shower should be effective at killing any viruses on your hands. Hey, if you wanna learn three DIY face mask techniques that are actually approved by the CDC, click right here to check out my other video. Don't forget to subscribe for more prepping and survival videos. Stay safe and I'll see you guys over in the next video.